All right, guys, sorry it took so long to get out here. I'm just trying to get a tech to come out here and stop this beeping. It is the fire alarm, but there's something else on the battery low voltage, so that's why I wanted to make sure that I had them look at that. Um, but we're gonna do a quick walkthrough around the outside of this guy. Um, again, you got the Meridian Atasca Winnebago 2005 diesel. Um, I did double check, it looks like all of the outside light covers are intact. You've got the bottom fog lights here. Um, your generator, I believe, is under this right here, hiding out. Um, you do have the tires, again, are Michelin from the fourth week of 21. Let's see, on the other side, I saw that. Uh, yeah, fourth week of 21 there. And they all have, looks like the wheel caps. Those are important things to look for. I do love this coach, how it has all of the felt lining inside. Anything you see here does come with it. If you're like, hey, get rid of it, we can, but I always think you might as well get rid of it yourself. Um, gas tank on this side, so when the slide's in, obviously you'll get gas there. This is a really nice spot for like fishing poles or easy ups or lawn chairs. Um, because it's in a slide, you don't have the full pass through, so that's something to think about. Looks like I got a lot of oil, things like that. These are probably tire covers, I'm guessing, yeah. So that's cool. Got a sewer hose little thing there. This is your black gray tank holding tank area. I would obviously get a new hose and give everything new. I don't like touching other people's stuff. So um, it looks like this coming. I love Winnebago though. You guys probably know each part a lot of times will have its own serial number. So if there's ever something that happens, you can replace it quite easy. Because they'll say what's the part number. It's right there. Full body paint again is going to be super nice. These are going to be so cute. So they're just going to wheel out and clip onto that little thing right there. That's your dryer vent, your outside light on this side, your uh, slide topper up there. Right now the jacks are down. I think that's another reason they're beeping because when I put the key in, it's like telling me the jacks are down. So, anywho, here is your cord and you have all of your water connections right here. Looks like it comes with a reducer or something here. Let's see. Yeah, a reducer. And yeah, 50 amp. And you've got your lights, water pump, things like that. Super cool. And let's see, ooh, I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks really pretty. It's kind of sparkling like this beautiful purple color almost. It's nice. I think let's just get the bath, it'll look really nice. Let me just shut that. And then let's see, it's got the nice rock chip guard down there. Um, I am seeing like on the outside of some of the silicone, you know, is a little bit probably dry, but no big deal. Sorry, my sunglasses are stuck in my hair. Okay. So everything looks good there. Nice big uh, tailpipe here. <coughs> Excuse me. So it has a cutout for a license plate back here. It does have 350 horsepower. Backup camera. Has a flagpole holder here in the back. Um, they will check all lights, make sure for safety they're working. Don't worry about that. This is your hitch. Looks like it's got um, 10,000 pounds. I am, do not know what this is though. So that's something to look at. And then there's your seven away down there. You probably know what that is over me, but this is your battery area right here. And I'm seeing uh, one, two, three, four, five total. I will check on those to see how the age of those are looking. Um, again, your big your big tires all look good. You can still see the hairs in the tires. I have a feeling they didn't dry these much. Look at that tread. It's very good. Um, your propane tank. So you just pull on up just like you do in your other motorhome. Ooh, you guys, is this a, a mirror? Nope, it's a metal detector, I think. So we're going to throw this in for you. <laughs> no, we are. We are, though. We are going to throw it in. Um, but, yeah, here's some, like, deeper pockets here. So it's not pass-through, but water tank drain. Again, the RV tech will go a little bit more in-depth with you because he will PDI this, and then he will go through, like, what's going on. It's probably some hitch system they had for pulling something right there. There is the rest of the ladder, if need be. Looks like... Um, some more cool stuff. Your Weather Pro awning right there. Another spot for you to fill up your gas. So this is so cool. You won't have to like turn the motorhome around. You can fill it up on either side. 
This may have a light in it. I don't know in the daylight if we can see uh, porch light. I don't know if I'm able to see it, but I'm pretty sure it does have one. There's a compartment light thing here, and then you've got compartment locks. So that's kind of cool. And then remember, it has this cute little screen door that says Meridian on it. I love it. The step looks really good. A lot of these tend to get off kilter, like not centered, but it looks good. So anywho, I'm gonna have my RV tech come out here so I can do the inside, but I'll take some pictures inside for you.